Hey VC, it is Kevin here, WarGod62. Uh, last mail update. A few more albums than the previous uh, two. So anyway, let's get to it. Uh, I do have the brand new, fantastic release from Swedish female rockers, Burning Witches. And uh, the Witch of the North fantastic album uh, I'd have to say probably one of their best to date I think this is an album number five um, if you can get the previous ones on vinyl good luck um, I do have most of them on vinyl so great traditional heavy metal uh, I got the latest installment from the brown acid series from, uh, it is heavy rock from the underground come down brown acid the 12th trip uh, I do have the other 11 plus the box of course these are uh, recordings from bands that maybe never put out an album but they put out singles from the 60s into the early 70s uh, bands like uh, uh, White Lightning out of Minneapolis, Shane, A Song Service, Dickens, Stage Fright, Artist, The Mop Tops, Opus DST, just more garage rock, psych rock, blues rock, good stuff. If you're into that stuff. Uh, then I picked up the new Thrash album from Evile that has this I think the first album in like eight years great album it is uh, evil Unle or hell unleashed some uh, UK thrash I think they have like three four albums out first one like you say in like eight years good stuff um of course then I have I'm not sure if I showed these. If I did, I'm sorry, but I don't remember. Uh, be Witcher, Cursed Be Thy Kingdom, of course. On Century Media, probably their best one to date. And then uh, do Artillery X, uh, limited to 200. I got. One one one. So great. Netherland thrash. Not really full on thrash, but uh, you know they they get more traditional metal. Throw in some thrash here and there, and that's what you have with artillery. Good release. Uh, some thrash out of Canada. Three albums they have out. Uh, two on vinyl. One on CD. These I had to order from overseas. Uh, band is out of Thunder Bay, Ontario, which is that way. No, back behind me, they're from. Uh, great stuff. Uh, they have uh, uh, one of the members from Annihilator. The band is called uh, Rectify, and this is Remnants of Pain. Great thrash, traditional thrash. Um, just some uh, flyers and stuff they send along with me. But uh, anyway, some Rectify. See, this one came out. It's on Flogger Records, so definitely an overseas label. Two thousand nineteen this came out. Um, and I have one on C D and then I have Fragments of Anger. I believe this is their latest release. Well, yeah, one on C D is I guess. Uh, this is uh for two thousand what did I say eighteen? Yeah. Two thousand eighteen. This is on Alone Records. Uh, so it's a European label. Again, they're hard to 
it's hard to come by in the States, so I had to order them overseas. Uh, he had some great thrash. Uh, and these are kind of more uh, used record finds. Uh, I picked up uh, a 12 inch promo single from Kansas Power. I did not have this. I'm trying to think. But anyway, I seen this. I think I paid like two bucks for it. I picked up a better copy of this Slade album. Um, I did have this, but the cover's all beat up. Slade Alive. Great period for Slade. Um, let's see here. This one came out in 1972. So, 70s were their best period. So, Love Slade, have most of their stuff. Of course, Slade's in, influenced a lot of uh, a lot of bands, especially Quiet Riot. They did a couple of Slade songs. Uh, this is one I've never seen on vinyl. Huge fan. Uh, again, I've never seen this one. Uh, it's The Doors, the Star Collection. Of course, it has most of their hits, Waiting for the Sun, Roadhouse Blues, Maggie McGill. This is a, uh, a German pressing from 73, so probably why I didn't see it. Um, it is on the red MIDI label. It actually came in the original, original sleeve, or somebody put it in there, I'm going to guess. But, uh, yeah, something I have never come across from the doors, and I have a lot of door stuff. Um, some Wishbone Ash. I had never come across this one before. Uh, live in Tokyo. I mean, the album is in, like, BG plus, uh, near mint condition. So let's see, this came out, it looks like 1979. It has uh, five tracks. Of course, it has the original, well, not quite the original, but Andy Powell, Martin Turner, two original members to the band. And I know somebody added this because I used to have them all the time as well. These are probably one of the first poly sleeves from the 70s. I used to have these all the time in my albums. This just needs to be uh, glued up a little bit down here, but uh, Wishbone Ash, live in Tokyo. Up next, some more thrash from the UK. This is a re-release put out by Back on Black. Uh, just a great, fantastic release from Shrapnel. And this is called The Virus Conspires. It's on kind of a, this white, pink splatter. Just some great UK thrash. Definitely pick it up. 
Uh, then I picked up, I think I sent this to uh, Harmless Rebel Steve. I had two copies of this. Uh, some more uh, new wave of traditional heavy metal, Shattered Land, or Nightfire and Shattered Lands. Uh, this is kind of a green, black, blue splatter. I don't think you can see it or not, but great new wave of traditional heavy metal. Uh, picked up this uh, Todd Michael Hall. Definitely going to be in my top 25 uh, of 2021. Uh, Sonic Healing from Todd Michael Hall. Great release. I've heard good things from other people. So, uh, Black Vinyl. Again, if I show these, I apologize, but I don't think I have. And then, of course, you all know me and my haunt stuff. Haunt Triumph. Kind of a lime vinyl color. And then uh, the black. And then the blue, dark blue, light blue, white pinwheel. Of course, I have the CD, I have the cassettes. Uh, the, the new stuff coming out will be coming out in the fall. Uh, I'm thinking of the name of it, I can't think of it. I got the CD, the cassette already, so. Anyway, hot. Uh, of course, we've showed this before. I don't think I have, though. Uh, fantastic release from Flotsam and Jetsam, Blood in the Water. Fantastic release and on uh, this red vinyl. Uh, band called Witch Tower, Witch's Domain. I think I showed these. But anyway, traditional heavy metal. Then uh, you have. Samuel Prodi from the 70s, um, 72 to be exact, uh, early 70s bluesy psych hard rock. Got this from uh, Rock and Roll. Uh, this, I'm trying to think, I got this from a, a German label. Uh, what is it? Dying Victims Records. Um, I ordered a CD or an album from them. They, they said there was going to be a delay on it. So I, I had the CD of this. Uh, this band is out of Thailand. Great stuff. Tradition, new wave of traditional heavy metal. Uh, Witch Seeker. And uh, Scene of the Wild. Great stuff. And last but not least. This came from, I believe it was Hell's Headbangers, of all places. Um, I picked up this uh, Wishbone Ash 21st Century Collection box set. Uh, it also comes with a shirt. Um, just a great package. Of course it has a uh, First one is uh, Live in London uh, from 2009. Then it has Elegant Stealth. Black vinyl, cardboard inserts, crap. And then I have uh, Wishbone Ash, the very best, live at Geneva. We'll have to show the insert, I'm sure it's the same. And then Wishbone Ash, live in Hamburg.
So that is the box set. Like I said, you get you got a shirt with it. I think I paid 30 bucks for the box set. It was very cheap. Uh, I went back over. I was gonna pick up another box for somebody, and uh, of course, wasn't there. So anyway, that is all I have for these updates. Sorry it's been taking so long uh, for an update, but uh, you got a lot to digest. Any comments, leave them below, and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, and we'll see you next time.